If you'd like to add your monitor mix from your Elgato Wave 3 in your Wavelink software over to OBS, this is the tutorial for you to make that simple. Basically what this means is if you're listening to your monitor mix uh, in Wavelink software using your headphones or using your speakers, you can take that exact mix of what you hear and just give that to your audience directly through OBS software. It mixes everything that's a part of what's on your headphone mix and just brings it in in one simple input into OBS. It's a great option, honestly, because here in Wavelink software, you have basically two channels with every input. Um, you have your monitor mix, which is the headphones version under each input. And then you have your stream mix, which is your playback icon here. And you basically have the option to make two different mixes using the Wavelink software. It gives you more flexibility. It allows you to do more stuff. And then with your monitor mix, you'll see it right over here. You can choose where it's playing back which device it's playing back on by doing the selection menu. And you can even do global changes to the volume levels by doing this volume slider next to it. And you can even listen to it or not in the Wavelink software using this ear. Cool? So this gives you two separate, if you will, master mixes that you can use as a um, somebody who's mixing a bunch of audio sources on your computer, let's bring over the monitor mix right now. So the way you do it is you zoom in, go here to OBS and go under sources and hit the plus button. Then you're going to do audio input capture. When you do that, I like to name the source monitor mix and I hit OK. And then once this pops up, do not let it sit here at default, manually select Wavelink monitor. That's going to only pull in the monitor mix, not going to pull in your mic, not going to pull in the stream mix. It only pulls in what you hear through your monitors, through your headphones, which is really great. And as you can see, the volume levels here on my monitor mix, it's about halfway through here on the volume here. And as you can see, only that mix is coming through in OBS right here. Really cool stuff. So it's an entirely separate mix that you can bring in. And if you wanted to, in just this example, I have this other input over here, Spotify. Let's say I wanted to bring in some other input. I could just basically let that input come in by unmuting that input here and then turning the volume up. And when I did that, it would come in through the monitor mix. So you have unlimited flexibility to add or not any input you want through Wavelink software and pump it in through one channel not having to add a million freaking sources here in OBS through one channel, bring this in to OBS, which is great. Now there is only one filter I recommend adding to your monitor mix. Hit the gear cog here, go to filters, and then what we're gonna do down here in the plus button down in the bottom left hand corner, we're gonna hit plus, and we're gonna use the limiter filter. Why are we gonna do this? Because something in your monitor mix might get incredibly loud at some point. We don't wanna blow up the headphones of anyone that's listening to your stream or to your recording. Take this up to negative three dB. Once you do that, hit close. So now your monitor mix, no matter how loud it gets, will not exceed negative three dB here and will not blow up the ears of everyone that's listening, etc. Now, optimally, your monitor mix is going to be uh, toward full volume toward negative five dB right here. I would turn this up for you, but that will blow up your face because you're actually listening to my monitor mix right now. So if you wanted to increase or decrease your volume on your monitor mix, what you would do is either use the volume slider right here. So as you can see, when we bring this down, I get much quieter, right? And then as I bring this up, I get much louder. And then with each individual source here in Wavelink software, under the headphones version of it, you can bump these down. As you can see, I'm gonna get much quieter now, and I'm gonna get much louder. And then you can take it up even higher than that to get the volume levels into the optimal spot for you. That's how you bring in the monitor mix. It's an entirely separate master mix, essentially, where you can bring in everything in Wavelink software in exactly the way you want it in just one set of clicks into OBS rather than having to add a million sources in OBS. I love how it simplifies digital mixing. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your Elgato Wave 3.